Our next guest is a brilliant stand-up comedian. He is the co-host of the fantastic All Fantasy Everything podcast. We are honoured that he's chosen this show to make his late-night television debut. You can see him live September 30th through October 2nd at the DC Improv. Please welcome the wonderful Sean Jordan. <laughs> Y'all stood up. That's fantastic. I'm thrilled about it. My voice cracked immediately. Let's move on. <laughs> well, we did it. My wife and I, we had a kid during COVID. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> it's ill-advised. It's been tough. I'm thrilled about it, though. I love being a dad. We named her Maxine. Strong. It's got that X in there. Strong, powerful <laughs> name. Makes her sound kind of gnarly. So when people ask if we had a boy or a girl, I go, neither. We had a woman. <laughs> and her name's Maxine. Respect. <laughs> Everything about being a parent is terrifying. Going to the hospital, terrifying for the birthing process, because they don't really tell you much about what's going to go down. I could use some information on a couple things. The first thing is the placenta. <laughs> How does it come out, and what does it look like? Those two pieces of information are clutch. Because <laughs> I was standing there, and our woman was born, and it was amazing. <laughs> Most amazing thing I've ever seen. But then about a minute after that, out of the corner of my eye, I saw something else come flying out of my wife <laughs> like it was shot out of a t-shirt cannon. <laughs> it was the placenta. The sucker's moving when it comes out. And I didn't know what it was, because I don't know what a placenta looks like, but I know what I think a stomach looks like. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> so then I was standing there terrified, thinking like, well, she just gave birth to her stomach. <laughs> I didn't even know that could happen. Yet here we sit. And listen, I'm not a stomach doctor. I'm not going to act like a stomach doctor. But you're going to want to call the stomach doctor. <laughs> get them down here immediately, because I don't know much, but I do know she's going to need a stomach to help me raise this baby. <laughs> Can't do it on my own. The next thing is skin-to-skin -skin contact. I could have used a little more information as to when that was going to go down. I know what it is. It's when you take the brand new naked baby, you put him on your bare chest. I'm here for that. I just wish I would have known that was going to have to happen immediately. <laughs> I'll timeline it for you. So the woman was born, and then about a minute after that, there was that whole stomach placenta fiasco. <laughs> and then like two, maybe three minutes after that, the doctor looked at me seemingly out of nowhere and goes, you, take your shirt off. <laughs> that was wild. And I was like, no. <laughs> Why would I do that? Are we going to fight? This feels weird. It just doesn't feel like a shirt off kind of party just yet. You know what I mean? I'm sober. I'm not hurt. I'm in the hospital. All three of those things, to me, are screaming, keep your shirt on. <laughs> but then she told me why it had to happen immediately, so of course I took it off again. I just wish I would have known it was going to have to happen right away, because I was wearing jeans. And I don't have a shirt off, jeans on kind of body. <laughs> Most people don't. I'm one of them. So I'm standing there with no shirt, and they told me to go sit in the corner to receive my baby. And I look around, and there's one dark corner in this entire room. There's one dark corner. The rest of it's lit up like Walmart. So I go over to this corner, and there's a rocking chair sitting there. So of course, I sit in the rocking chair and start rocking back and forth. Because if you sit still in a rocking chair, you look psychotic. You just... <laughs> you got to try to sit still. It's weird. But then they didn't give me my baby for like 10 minutes. Ten minutes, I feel, would have been better spent wearing a shirt. <laughs> That's a long time. So at one point, I was just sitting in the only dark corner of this entire hospital room, <laughs> rocking back and forth in a rocking chair, with no shirt on, wearing jeans. And it straight up looked like I wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> it looked like I snuck in. If you walked by, you'd have been like, why is that mechanic sitting in there? I just don't like showing off my body when I don't have to. My body looks exactly like what you think it looks like. <laughs> Not a lot of surprises. 
Like if I took off all my clothes right now and got completely naked, everybody's heart rate would stay exactly the same. <laughs> Wouldn't really move the needle too much. <laughs> you would notice that I have way more chest hair than you think I do. Weird little secret about Cherboy. I got a bunch. <laughs> it's all right here, right above my xiphoid process on my sternum. There's like a thick ball. It's like a circle of chest hair, though. It's a dot. <laughs> and then on my tummy, I have another dot of body hair, like a circle right around my belly button. So my torso looks like a colon, like the punctuation mark. <laughs> So like if I was on the beach with all my friends and we were all standing in a line with our shirts off and I was last in line, you'd be like, maybe there's more friends? <laughs> this has been amazing. My name's Sean Jordan. I dream come true. Thank you so much. Oh my God, come on. <laughs> Sean Jordan, I'm gonna everybody. <laughs> Check out the Old Fantasy Everything podcast, Maxine. Check out your dad. We'll be right back.